achievement. On the show, we take you on an incredible journey. A journey that will ignite curiosity, bewilder the senses, and leave you reeling with amazement. Today, meet a three-year-old record holder. Witness the Monkey King in action. Visit the world's largest perfumery and one of the quirkiest museums of the world. So without further ado, let's start in the land of saints and warriors, Maharashtra. Meet Abhishek Thawari, India's only teeth archer. Abhishek's story is a shining example of the triumph of a never-say-die spirit. Abhishek lost his right arm to polio at a young age. मेरे घरवाले बताते हैं कि जब मुझे समझ आई, तब उनसे पूछा कि मुझे ऐसा हाथ को प्रॉब्लम क्या है, तो उन्होंने बताया कि पोलियो है आपको। उसके बाद जर्नी यानी धीरे-धीरे स्टार्ट हुई स्कूल वगैरह। जब मैं एट एट स्टैंडर्ड में गया, तो स्पोर्ट्स की शुरुआत वहाँ से हुई। मैं एथलेटिक्स करने लगा, नॉर्मल लोगों में खेलने लगा। Undeterred, Abhishek excelled in marathon racing till an injury abruptly ended his sporting journey. Down but not out, Abhishek found another arena to fulfill his dreams. Archery. And started using his teeth to shoot arrows. The first in India to attempt the seemingly impossible. Abhishek's perseverance caught the eye of coach Chandrakant Ilag. Abhishek ki mentally power bahut strong hai. Aur wohi archery bhi chahiye. Having won several state level tournaments, Abhishek now shoots for gold at the 2020 Paralympics. Ek sapna hai ki apne chhati pe apna tiranga ho, piche India dikha ho. Aur har khiladi ka sapna hota hai. Moving on to Tamil Nadu. Let's meet a child who puts most adults to shame. V. Varun Shriram is India's child prodigy. At the age of two years and eight months, Varun set records in the Wonder Book of Records and Guinness Book of Records by identifying 672 objects in 10 minutes. Who's the President of America? My brother. Who is the Prime Minister of India? Narendra Modi. Blessed with a photographic memory, Varun can identify flags, monuments, and recite the periodic table without breaking a sweat. He has photographic memory, but not only photographic memory. It is not that what he sees alone he says. His ability to receive the signal, encode, both his long-term memory as well as the working memory are excellent. Varun belongs to an elite 0.1% club of wonder kids. This whisk kid learns fast and gets bored faster. Having enough material to feed Varun's IQ keeps everyone around him on their toes. Now it's time to follow the scent to Uttar Pradesh. Welcome to Kannauj, India's perfume city and the world's largest natural perfume producer. The fragrant legacy of Kanoj has roots in a 5,000-year-old perfume manufacturing practice. Perfumes are manufactured using a hydro-distillation process. A mixture of flowers and water is heated. Resultant vapors are mixed with oil in a condenser. Excess water is then removed by a filtration and the perfume is ready. As per the perfume quality desired, this process can be repeated for over 30 days. Kanoj 
which manufactures more than 20 lakh liters of natural perfume each year. It is India's biggest manufacturer and exports to over 50 countries. With prices starting from rupees 50, Kanoj produces a perfume for every pocket. But some prices shall definitely blow your senses. Costly itro ki baat ki jaye to oud ka itro ta hai 28 lakh rupee kilo ki market value hai uski is samay. Gulab ki rose 16 lakh rupee kilo chal rahi hai. Bela ki rose jo absolute hai wo 7.5 lakh rupee kilo hai. From the perfume city, let's move on to the royal state of India, Rajasthan. Meet Surendra Kumar Abharya, a seven-time over Guinness Book Record holder. Surendra Kumar's skill lies in his ability to write on the smallest of surfaces. a record for writing 1749 characters on a single grain of rice. He also holds a record for writing 249 characters on a single strand of human hair. Surendra Kumar has written three speeches by Jawaharlal Nehru on a single postage stamp. Normally this would have taken at least 18 pages of a regular sized notebook. The Guinness Book of World Records inspired Surendra Kumar to take up this quirky art. जैसे कि कभी चावल पे लिखता है, गिर जाता, खो जाता, टूट जाता, पता ही लगता, सारी मेहनत बेकार हो जाती। Undeterred, over time, Surendra Kumar gained mastery over his skill. He uses a needle to hold the rice grain and the thinnest brush possible to write. To prevent his hand from shaking, Surendra Kumar has mastered holding his breath for over two minutes. Given his dedication, it's no surprise that Surendra Kumar's record stands unbroken even after 25 years. From Rajasthan, let's jump across to Karnataka to meet India's Monkey King. Mr. Jyoti Raj is a freestyle climber scaling heights using only bare hands and feet. Unlike other professional climbers, Jyoti Raj needs no safety equipment. His daredevilry has earned him the nickname Monkey King. लोग बोलते हैं मुझे Monkey King, बंदर राज बोलते हैं, कन्नड़ में कोटी राज बोलते हैं, मैं प्रोफेशनल क्लाइमर हूँ। He can hang from surfaces using only the strength of his legs. He even performs a 360-degree rotation without a safety harness. Jyoti Raj is the only person to have scaled without a harness India's second highest waterfall, the 830-foot Jog Waterfall. Whilst he makes his exploits look easy, it's best to not attempt this at home. Beach poor no bar already tut chuka hai, char raad hai body mein. But itna bar tuta mat. Jyoti Raj's dream is to climb Dubai's 2,722-foot Burj Khalifa. Truly, Jyoti Raj has literally climbed his way to success. adults, world-class athletes to culturally rich cities. India is a gift 
that keeps on giving. Now it's time to visit one of the quirkiest museums of the world in New Delhi. Welcome to Sulab International, a museum dedicated to toilets. It has a rare collection of objects that map the development of toilets. The museum can help you learn about the Indus Valley drainage system. Acquaint you with King Louis XIV's dual-purpose throne. Introduce you to Incinolet, a toilet developed by the U.S. Navy that can turn waste to ashes. Started in 1992, this museum is the brainchild of Dr. Bindeshwar Pata. The museum ranked third in Times Magazine's list of quirky museums. Solar International is a unique and inventive way to spread awareness about sanitation. From the capital to God's own country, Kerala. Let's meet an artist who is one of a kind. Meet Ranjini. A string puppeteer with a difference. Ranjini is a practitioner of an ancient art form called Noku Vidya Pavakal. She's the only person in the world who can balance puppets in the space between her nose and upper lip. The puppets are animated with the help of strings held by the artist. Decades, Ranjani's family has been the sole practitioner of this art. Seeing her grandmother practice the art form, Ranjani followed in her footsteps. The puppets used by Ranjani were made by her grandfather 30 years ago. Ranjini and her family have single-handedly ensured the survival of this dying art. Ranjini has aptly earned the moniker of the Lone String Puppeteer. Moving on to Gujarat, where a man is putting Rangoli making on the world map. Swami, India's fastest Rangoli artist. Rahul set a Limka book record for making the largest Rangoli in record time. सत्रह साल की उम्र का था जब मैंने रंगोली बनाना शुरू किया था तो मैंने ये डिसाइड कर लिया था कि मुझे इंडिया का फास्टेस्ट रंगोली बनाना ही है तभी मुझे एक मौका मिला गुजरात में एक फास्टेस्ट रंगोली बनाने का एक इवेंट में तो वहाँ पे मैंने चौबीस हजार स्क्वेयर फीट रंगोली ओनली वन मैन सिर्फ साढ़े घंटे में वो रंगोली बना के मैंने लिमका बुक रिकॉर्ड किया Rahul can make a 10 by 10 foot rangoli in 10 minutes. In comparison, a regular rangoli artist would take three hours. He has made over 10,000 rangolis without repeating a pattern. His talent is showcased across various stages, ranging from TV shows to temples. Rahul's next target is the Guinness Book of World Records. With the tenacity to match his talent, there's no stopping Rahul from spreading the colors of India across the world. 
अब मेरा नेक्स्ट टारगेट है गिनीज बुक रिकॉर्ड क्योंकि उसमें जो रिकॉर्ड्स किए गए हैं सभी ग्रुप्स ने किए हुए हैं वन मिन का कोई रिकॉर्ड्स नहीं है दो लाख पचास हजार स्क्वेयर फीट का मैं एक ऐसा रिकॉर्ड बनाऊंगा जो कोई फ्यूचर में तोड़ नहीं पाऊंगा वो रिकॉर्ड बनाऊंगा मैं अपने घर पे एम में सिनवा में Mesmerizing places and fascinating stories. You name it, and chances are you'll find it only in India. Here is the story of a New Delhi newspaper with a difference. Balak Nama is the world's first newspaper to be produced only by children. Newspaper is run by children who live and work on the street. The published stories are based on the lives of these children. Like any newspaper, there is a team of reporters that goes out to gather stories. The children then conduct an editorial meeting to decide the newspaper's content. What began in 2003 as a two-page Hindi newspaper printed every three months has today become a monthly print of 16 pages. Even an English edition has been started, and the newspaper also reaches surrounding states of Haryana, UP, and MP. Around 8,000 copies are sold monthly at a price of five rupees per paper. For these children. Balaknama is not just a newspaper but a voice and a stepping stone towards a better future. Now let's visit the land of festivals, Nagaland. Longwa is a unique village that unites two countries. Longwa is situated on the international border between India and Myanmar. 1970 to 71 लगभग इसमें मतलब बॉर्डर यहाँ लगा रहा है इससे ही इंडिया और म्यांमार वही अलग हो गया इन सम हाउसेस द किचन इज इन इंडिया एंड द बेडरूम इन म्यांमार एवरी विलेजर हैज ड्यूल सिटीजनशिप टू लॉन्गवा इज द बिगेस्ट विलेज ऑफ द मॉन डिस्ट्रिक्ट As per 2011 census, it has a population of 5,132. The majority belongs to the Konyak Naga tribe. Residents mainly speak Tibetan Burmese and understand basic Hindi too. Longwa is proof that humanity surpasses all boundaries. Although land may be divided and boundaries marked, people are united by humanity. Discovering India is a perpetual work in progress. With amazing stories, unique personalities, captivating histories, and heritage found at every turn. We will be back with 10 more fascinating stories. So keep watching India's 71.